Hello, my name is Michael Evans. We're Joey. And we're Tilton. And we just finished playing the Trail Legacy. Basically, if you haven't played Trail House on a Hill, basically you're going around uh, exploring a haunted house. Uh, at some point, like I said, as you find omens, which are basically item cards that are, are specially connected to the house, uh, after enough omens, you're going to trip what's called the haunt. Which, and at that point, the game changes. One of you be, are most likely going to be a traitor. Uh, you separate. One gets the, the traitor gets the traitor tome. Everyone else gets to play the uh, survivors gets the survivor tome. They read the rules in the, their specific haunt or scenario, and uh, they come back. Uh, each have a specific goal. They're trying to keep it secret from the other group, and they have to go. The first one to achieve their goal wins. Like if the survivors achieve their goal before the trader does, if the survivors win, the trader uh, gets it, then he went before the, the survivors, he, he wins. This one builds up the story for uh, Betrayal. This tells you how, why the house is so haunted, why, the, uh, why there's so much evil in that house. Um, basically, you go through a prologue in 13 games, adding cards um, and tiles as you go depending upon how they end it. Originally they had 14 games, and the publisher said, listen, 13 seems like a better number. Can you hold prologue in 13 games instead? And they were like, you know what, we can do that. It starts <laughs> off with very few tiles, you add more and more as the thing goes on. Basically you're building up the house as you go. Yeah, and sometimes you're destroying tiles or destroying cards. Other cards um, are never added to the game because certain events didn't happen. So when you buy this game, and your friend buys it, and you both play it, you'll have a different game at the end than what he'll have. Unless you made identical decisions. Yeah. In which case, that's weird. And maybe identical, <laughs> identical decisions and roles. Yes. Yes. Again, weird. But in the end, I and think we all... And draws. Yes. yes, and draws. And we, uh, in the end, we all really liked it. We all had fun. I love this. This is my favorite Legacy. I've played a few Legacy games. This is my favorite Legacy game. Uh, I used to, Arcadia Quest used to be my favorite, Betrayal of House on the Hill used to be my second favorite. I think this changes things. This, make, this is my, it makes Betrayal my favorite game. Because the story is so, is so involving. It seems like you are actually crafting out, it's a, no, it's a very linear, it is a very linear story, but it doesn't feel that way. Like I say, you're doing the same things, no matter, basically you're getting to the same point. There's going to be changing the stories, but you're not doing that much as affecting it, really. But it feels like you are. It feels like you're creating this story. Um, you determine how many people die in a room by dying there. You determine... Um, <laughs> how many ghosts are in that room yes. by dying there. You determine things like, do we add the good cards or the evil cards? Well, did the traitor win or did the good guys win? Things like that. Yeah. I love this. If you like Trail House on the Hill, you're going to love like, uh, the Legacy game. Uh, I don't... If you didn't like Trail House on the Hill, you're probably not going to like this. You might, yeah. but definitely, if you like uh, Trail House on the Hill, you're going to want to try Trail Legacy. And once you're done, it has replay value because you built the whole scenario for you to play with your friends afterwards. And there's still like 50 some, uh, I think there's still 50 uh, haunts in here that you can go through. Yeah. As it starts with one, and I had one each time. Now, unfortunately, th you can't combine this with the old Trail House on the Hill uh, because the, the artwork and stuff like this, it's, it's different enough that you can't combine the two, unfortunately. It would have been really cool if you could have combined this on, with the old, with... Uh, this, and Widow's Peak. And Widow's Peak. So that would have given it even more. But still, this, like I said, the, game, the Legacy game is amazing. Plus, now you have your own copy of Betrayal, which is unique to you. Mm -hmm. I earned the right to have it. Yay! Yes, uh, Richard Hobie's going to be the one taking this one home, <laughs> yes. and we can borrow this one anytime we want. Yes, but we all paid for it. Yes. yes. In blood and money. Yes. We could kill people for more money? Is that D&D? &D? No, 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 no. Here, I, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, our characters <laughs> have blood for it. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, sure. Before the killing spree, I said before the killing spree starts, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking fake blood. <laughs> so, anyway, 
that's uh, about it. That's yeah. uh, short and sweet. You, it was a good game. It, it, Amazing one, game. Only one problem with it. You have to get the same people together 14 different times. Not really. Because well, you can switch out families and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it works best if you have the same uh, people. Even somebody else can play one of the family members. Yeah. That, cause mm. And even, like I said... They're not necessarily the same person anymore. Unless you're me. And even the last, <laughs> there's a point in the last haunt when it refers to uh, the crest of a family member that's not playing at the time, that's not playing, which means it expects you to switch in and out people from time to time, possibly. Yeah. But uh, that would not have been as satisfying, though. Yeah. No, Another no. thing is some of the rules could have been a lot more clarified on... Yes. When do certain people do the things, or what event happens in what order, or does the bad guy attack you at the end game when there's nobody to attack, or not the bad guy, does the madman attack you at the end yeah. when he's not even on your tile? But again, <laughs> that's the same complaint as the Trail of House on the Hill. Yeah. So basically, like I say, so if you, if you did not like, if it's still a little, fid it's still fiddly. It's not as fiddly as the Trail of House on the Hill. Uh, it's definitely, that second is definitely better than the first edition, but still, it, it still is fiddly. So if you did not like *Through Trail House on the Hill*, you're probably not going to want to try this. It, it may be a bit better. It's a bit better. So if you are on the fence, that you might you'll probably like this. If you did not like *The Trail*, you're probably not going to like *The Trail House on the Hill*. You're probably not going to like this. The big difference in this one is you invested in it because you played the 14 games to determine what the world looks like. Yeah. Yeah. And if you see another person's copy, it could be completely different. Yeah, like, this is the second campaign uh, that, that I went through. And I'm quite sure, like I said, I'm going to have a lot of different events and stuff like that in mind than, they, than we have in this one. Different tiles than we have in this one. Like, that, maybe not a whole, whole lot, but it's, mine definitely is going to feel different. Like, my other one, if I played both of them, they'd have, definitely have a different feel because of, you know, some of the things we, uh, we did differently. At least to me. You don't have a 187-year-old person trying to heal you to death. That's true. Yeah, that one of true. the um, interesting bits is some of the items are only supposed to be used X number of times. And then they're done. Then they're done, but often replaced by a different item. We didn't actually see all the replacement items. Yeah. But I was curious. I looked up to see what happened if somebody got the point three times. I really had to fight them to wait till the end to do that. Like, and there was times I lost that fight. <laughs> well, the person who has played it before and knew what was coming kept on saying, no spoilers for the rest of you. I never, every time I destroyed a card in my old one, I never looked at what it was. Mm -hmm. I never looked at, ahead at what this one. I never looked at any of the destroyed ones this one, until the very end. Because mm -hmm. I want to keep the story pure. Mm. Anyway, good game. Yep. Like I said, I love it. I think it's an amazing game. I highly recommend it if you even like Trail House on the Hill. I re highly recommend this. And I'll just add that it is best with the same group of players time after time. He is correct. Uh, you def if possible, you definitely want the same players. Yes. Especially the ones that killed your character last time when he wasn't even a traitor. <laughs> and you have to try to figure out how to You were things. all witches. <laughs> That's the point. You all are witches. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Yep.